This is what movies are all about. Entertainment. Movies hold memories. It's about men, women, choices, sex, ambition, moving in, no sex, risk, underwear, friendship, career moves, strategy, commitment, love, fun, breaking up, making up, bedtime, last night. Hey there everybody, I just wanted to talk about one of my favourite movies of all time and since it's coming up for Valentine's Day I thought I'd talk about a, a romantic film. And it's from 1986, directed by Edward Zwick. It's About Last Night, starring James Belushi, Rob Lowe, Elizabeth Perkins and Demi Moore. This is just one of my favourite films of all time and most definitely my favourite romantic film of all time. Some may call it a chick flick, I don't like that term. Some may call it cheesy, but it's just a perfect film for me. I absolutely love it. Just something hit me when I first saw it and it's it's just grown to become one of my f best favourite films of all time. And it's, it's based on the original David Mamet um, play, the award winning play. Um, sexual perversity in Chicago. Yep, so I, I, I returned to about last night quite regularly. It's, it's, it's a film I can watch anytime really and yeah, it's just it's just one of those films. It's, it's one of those maybe dozen films in my lifetime that are special to me that I can always return to and it's if you like a romantic film or a romantic comedy, it's not, it's not a straight out romantic comedy, it's more of a, a drama, more of a 80s romantic drama but really fun. It's, it's such a, a throwback to the time, it's very insightful of the, the period 1986 and it's very realistic in terms of what the 80s were like and if you want to a throwback to the 80s or what 1986 was like and you go back and watch a film like this and you, you go back in a time machine and Rob, Rob Lowe and Demi Moore absolutely sizzle on the screen, it's beautiful sexual chemistry between the two leads and James Belushi and Elizabeth Perkins give great performances as the best friends in the film. I just love this film so much. I know there's a Blu-ray release, but it's nothing special. I really would like a special, a real special edition of this movie with more extra features. This is obviously a DVD copy. But yeah, I wrote about this film in a, a blog post a few years ago, right? And it was just talking about my passion and love for the film. and. Rob Lowe on Twitter actually sort of retweeted and shared the blog and I had thousands of people reading it and they loved the blog and he obviously, I don't know if he read it personally but he definitely shared it and I just wanted to talk about <clears throat> my love for this film and it's it's just so good and it's great 80s music. I've actually got the the soundtrack up on the, the original vinyls on my wall there framed and I love the music with music like uh, from the likes of Sheena Easton it's just it's got some great 80s montage I love montage in films with music and uplifting or funny scenes making love is the easy part saying I love you is more difficult but being in love is the hardest of all this movie could have been called Sex in the City you know you had the series Sex in the City that this film could have been called Sex in the City it is a lot it is about sex it is about the city it is about relationships and it's it's charming and moving and touching and it's a feel very feel good film in many parts as well and it's just uplifting for anyone that's ever been in love or been in relationships or been in awkward friendships relationships this this is your film this is a it's a it's a great movie. I can't believe it's thirty years old, over thirty years now, and this for me is a perfect movie for Valentine's Day. And if you're have got guilty pleasures or you don't like to admit that you like romantic comedy or romantic films, come on, just check it out and enjoy it. I promise you will. And don't go for the shitty remake from what was it, two thousand and ten, two thousand and eleven, with Kevin Hart. Oh, the less said about that film, the better, because that film was was awful. I refused to watch it for the longest period and I just tried it and oh, it was bad. I hated it. Maybe I'm biased because I love this film so much but no, the film was terrible. Let's just not talk about that. Anyways, About Last Night is a great film, great 80s film, great music, great performances by the, the whole cast and great chemistry between the leads and it's, as I said, it's just one of my favourites and a, a truly great romantic film and I'm sure you'll enjoy it if you try it out if you've never seen it before. 
Thanks for watching and speak soon, okay? Cheers. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Now, if you can find it in your heart to take this thing and shove it up your ass.